I'm definitely not against people buying cars from CarMax or Carvana. I just want you to not get smoked when you do it. I'm going to list off some of the most common problems people are having buying from Carvana and a little bit with CarMax. However, they share a lot of the same issues, especially when you decide to buy the car sight unseen. Number one, if you've got a little bit of time to kill, the titling process could take a little bit of time with Carvana or CarMax because of how they buy these cars. Because they're buying cars directly from people, they're waiting on titles to get issued from their state to them, then to you, and then by the time you you gotta go and register the car, all of a sudden you're sitting for a month with the car in your driveway waiting for a title, and that title to get registered via your RMV. Second, the price is a big issue. When was it listed? Was it recently listed? Was it listed three months ago? And if it was listed three months ago, has it been repriced? You gotta pay very, very close attention to the price on the vehicle that you're looking at. How I typically like to search for cars is, is I like to use either Edmunds or cars.com to try and see what they're gauging the price to be at. And you gotta be careful with this because sometimes the trim and the exact configuration doesn't match up as to, okay, maybe you're looking at something that Carvana has for say $18,000 versus what a Honda dealership has for $18,000. What I typically like to do is I like to stack up a car from say Carvana or CarMax and I like to compare it with the dealership's version, specifically if we're looking at a certified vehicle. So if CarMax has say like a three series for $30,000, but the dealership is selling one for 31 or 32 certified, I would probably go with the dealership's $32,000 one. Now, you gotta also ask the question, what's making CarMax's or Carvana's three series cost 30 or 32? Are they both the same trim? Are they both all wheel drive? Do they both have the same roughly mileage on the cars? Are we looking at the same exact car? Make sure that the vehicle that you're looking at at Carvana or CarMax is actually a good deal by comparing the important stuff mileage, trim, options, features, etc. Make sure that you're comparing exact apples to apples. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at a BMW, a Honda, a Toyota, whatever you're looking at, take the VIN number of that vehicle, head on over to a local dealership for that particular brand. So say if you're looking at a Toyota, get the VIN number, go on to the dealership and see if they can run this VIN for you and get service records or any sort of bulletin on that particular car. Is the car that you're looking at, specifically, the car that you're looking at have some sort of just insane service history that you should know about. It had an engine replaced or it had just some sort of crazy work done to it. Make sure that you're getting the full history of that car, not just a Carfax. And speaking of Carfax, this is huge, you guys. This next one, I want to tell you a little anecdote about my own personal experience where I crashed my car. I, was, I wasn't hurt, obviously, but I had it fixed, turned the lease in, got a different car. That car was being sold with no accident report on its history. It's a sad story. I really, really wish I knew who the, who the buyer was for that car so I can let them know, hey, you bought a car with an accident report. You got to be on the lookout for panels that look like they have big gaps, paint that looks like it's been painted in one area and not really matched to the other area, stuff that you should know before you buy a car. This is why it's super important that you not only get the car inspected, but you have an auto body actually look at the car. You have somebody, or hell, at least buy a paint gauge. Try to figure out if this car has been painted in any of the major panels. Bumpers, I guess, are okay, but at the very least, make sure that the panels haven't been painted. And if they have been painted, how well were they painted? Try to buy closer rather than further. The reason why I say this is because if you're gonna get wrapped up in this whole process of possibly returning the car once you get it, you don't wanna be stuck waiting a week to actually get the car, start the process, and then go through the whole process of sending it back and possibly paying any shipping charges or any sort of crazy thing like this, given the fact that the situation that they're in is not really too, too encouraging. Also, if you're looking at a car at CarMax and the car is pretty far away, expect to pay a lot of money in non-refundable shipping charges. 
The last thing that really rubs me the wrong way is you guys, how much could these employees actually care right now with a company that's deteriorating, with possible jobs being cut, with possible bankruptcies looming? It's not all too, too encouraging knowing that the company that you're dealing with could possibly not be here in a few months or a year. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy from CarMax or Carvana because their employees are bad in any way. I'm trying to tell you that these sort of things go through my mind whenever I'm dealing with a dealership already, let alone a dealership or a chain of them that isn't doing all too well at the moment. Guys, I wanna let you know in the description below, you're gonna find various resources to help you while you're shopping around for a new or a used vehicle. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Click right here, will you? Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.